Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Okay, next up we have Quickstar. This allows you to customize your notification drawer. So if we go into here, we can see we can choose from some predetermined or predefined color schemes. So we have a nice purple and white one there. So yellowy mustard color and black. We have some other ones here. And a rather horrible red and green one there. So I quite like the yellow and black one there. It's quite a nice scheme. Okay, so you can of course create your own color settings as well if you so wish. So you choose a sort of representative color first. So we're going to go for a, a green, maybe a light green color. And now we can actually set what we want our icons to look like when they're on. So maybe we want a deeper green or a brighter green. When it's off, maybe we want a sort of orange color. We can set the font color here. So you can really, you know, customize it as much as you like. And we're gonna go for a bit of a pinky purple color. You can set the BG alpha here. As you can see, just take out some of the garishness of it all. And then turn the blur effect on or off. So when you pull down, how much blur is in the background, if any. So we're gonna set that up to about level four. And if we click the apply button, we've now got our customized notification drawer. You can actually also configure the icons you see at the top of your sort of status bar here. So I've turned off the alarm because I don't need to know that the alarm is turned on. So you can see here it's being removed from the top here. You can also, if you wish, remove your mobile data signal icons. You can remove the Wi-Fi icon and you can really clean up your status bar at the top here. Now I'm gonna keep my Wi-Fi there. Don't really need the battery icon, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I think I will probably keep my mobile data or signal icons up there. So we've also got these three options up here, whether you want to show your notification information on the idle screen, whether you want to show it on the lock screen, so you turn that off and then people won't know what provider you are using. And also whether you want to show it down at the bottom of the panel here. So if I turn that off, we've now removed our provider settings down here, which I think is quite a nice little feature. There's no real reason to have those showing. We can also customize the position of the clock. So by default, it's on the left hand side. We can turn it off completely or move it across to the right hand side. And as you read here, there are some issues if you have it on the right hand side that system icons could start overlapping each other. So that's just a bit of a warning there. I'll leave it on the left. That's what I'm used to currently. Now the last option here in Quickstar is the option to configure a notification pop-up button. So what this does basically is allows you to have a pop-up window of whatever the notification is appear on your screen. So for example here, if I swipe this notification across, in fact, let's use the battery monitor, and then we press the pop-up button here, the app will actually be opened in a pop-up window for me to you know, check the status of what the alert was. And then if I want to maximize it, I can then make it full screen. I can just close it off. I can minimize it into a little bubble. Or I can adjust the transparency. So I'm going to close it off. And that's quite a nice little handy feature there to have. So that was Quickstar, which is quite a nice little uh, customization tool. You can really get you know, into some detailed customizations with it. I'm going to turn it off for the notification panel color and just have the default settings with my night mode. But all the other settings I've configured, such as removing the alarm clock, etc., have been saved. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again in the next one.